Hey guys, it's Christina and I'm back with another video. Please like and subscribe. So this footage was taken at the North Texas Burn Rodeo and I've been wanting to go for a couple years and this was my last chance before I graduated so I finally made it happen and I tried a red velvet funnel cake which was a first and it was pretty good but it was too much sweet this I couldn't finish it um, and there's a bowl riding and we took Polaroid pictures uh, we were waiting in line for the ferris wheel for a while and I just thought it was funny how long the line was I think for the clout <laughs> but this was the first time being on a ferris wheel for me and my friend and we were freaking out so bad because we don't like roller coasters or anything but then once it finally started going we realized we were freaking out for no reason and it wasn't that bad like it was literally the definition of overreacting Overall, I would say that this fair and rodeo was the most hee-haw thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> and since uh, my last video, I was talking about how there was crickets in my dorm. Well, here's another cricket. They were everywhere at the fair, and I think North Texas is just infested with So in this portion of the video, I am showing you guys my nighttime skincare routine. And at this point, I had just gone out of the shower, and I'm starting with removing my makeup. Now I use coconut oil to remove my makeup, and it works really well, especially on the eye makeup. I used to use the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser, I think that's what it's called, um, but I've switched to coconut oil since I've been trying to use more natural, non-toxic products, and I don't completely use non-toxic products but I try my best and hopefully I'll get to a point where that's what I only use. And at this point I grabbed a wipe to get all the residue off and it came off quite easily. And just so you guys know, I would say my skin is very oily. <laughs> I can literally wipe off some oil droplets off the bridge of my nose at the end of the day. Now here I am grabbing my products. I start with my face wash, which is the Alba Botanica Acne Dote Deep Pore Wash. It's oil free, has 2% salicylic acid acne medication, um, and it has no animal testing, no artificial colors, no synthetic fragrances, no parabens, no phthalates, and no harsh sulfates. Um, I've used it on and off a little bit and just recently for about a week I've been using it more consistently and I really like it. Now in this video I didn't want to claim that I completely cured my acne um, but these are just the things that I've noticed have helped a lot. So the first thing I've noticed that's helped a lot is that I've been using Curology. I'd say that's healthy 60%. And this isn't sponsored, but I wish it was sponsored. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And also using clean towels, clean pillow sheets, whenever you can. Like, don't use the towel hanging there that I use to wipe my hands to dry my face. I use a separate towel that I only use to wipe my face when it's clean and I try to wash my pillow sheets uh, weekly at least 
and that's helped. I use a sleeping mask that I also use and I wash that in my washer as well and because otherwise I've noticed if I haven't washed it in a while it gets my forehead. Um, it makes it break out and my forehead is my biggest prop spot and here I'm just water crossing. Dental hygiene is very important guys. Very important. So here's the curology I've been talking about. I apply it after my face has dried, after washing it, and it's very nice. Now the second tip I have, that's about 40% of the battle for me, is moisturizing my face. Making sure my face has been moisturized has made such a big difference. If I don't moisturize, my skin is dull looking and I break out more because I think my skin is trying to overcompensate with oil to make up for the fact that it's dry. So don't forget to moisturize your skin. And those are the main two things that have helped me um, using Curology and moisturizing. Now, besides the fact that the more common sense things like washing your face twice a day, cleaning sheets, using clean towels, stuff like that, and if you see me talking in this video, it's because I was on FaceTime with my boyfriend, and the eye cream I'm using is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Eye Cream. <laughs> Uh, so far I like it. I It's not great, but it does the job for me. And here is my face cream that I applied to my face and neck. It's the Avalon Organics Intense Defense with Vitamin C Renewal Cream. And now we've made it to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hope to see you soon. Bye!